Thomas Markle has been very vocal about the falling out with his daughter around the time of her wedding last year. In numerous interviews with the British press he at times begged for his daughter to reach out and at others attacked her, calling her superior and the royal family a cult. Now, a letter allegedly from the heavily pregnant Duchess has revealed the extent of her devastation over the rift. The letter emerged after an anonymous interview given by five of Meghan's closest friends with People magazine last week where they revealed their concerns about the rumors around Meghan Markle. This letter is the first thing we've seen alleged to be directly from the Duchess herself since she made a statement confirming he would not be walking her down the aisle in May 2018 due to health issues. The Mail on Sunday published the extracts from the letter today, which Mr. Markle said left him feeling devastated. Read more, the interview Meehan's best friends gave people Meg has silently sat back and endured the lies and untruths the letter. Dated August 2018, with one-fifth in the corner, is written in her trademark elegant script. It says, Daddy, it is with a heavy heart that I write this, not understanding why you have chosen to take this path, turning a blind eye to the pain you're causing. Your actions have broken my heart into a million pieces, not simply because you have manufactured such unnecessary and unwarranted pain. But by making the choice to not tell the truth as you are puppeteered in this, something I will never understand. You told the press that you called me to say you weren't coming to the wedding, that didnt happened because you never called. You've said I never helped you financially and you've never asked me for help with is also untrue. You sent me an email last October that said, if I've depended too much on you for financial help then I'm sorry but please could you help me more not as a bargaining chip for my loyalty. I have only ever loved, protected, and defended you, offering whatever financial support I could worrying about your health and always asking how I could help so the week of the wedding to hear about you having a heart attack through a tabloid was horrifying. I called and texted I begged you to accept help, we sent someone to your home and instead of speaking to me to accept this or any help, you stopped answering your phone and chose to only speak to tabloids. Please allow us to live our lives in peace. If you love me, as you tell the press you do, please stop. Please stop the lying. Please stop creating so much pain. Please stop exploiting my relationship with my husband. I realize you are so far down this rabbit hole that you feel or may feel there's no way out. But if you take a moment to pause, I think you'll see that being able to live with a clear conscience is more valuable than any payment in the world. On a daily basis you fixated and clicked on the lies they were writing about me, especially manufactured by your other daughter, who I barely know. I pleaded with you to stop reading the tabloids. You watched me silently suffer at the hand of her vicious lies, I crumbled inside. We all rallied around to support and protect you from day one, and this you know. So to hear about the attacks you've made at Harry in the press, who was nothing but patient, kind and understanding with you is perhaps the most painful of all. For some reason you continue fabricating these stories, manufacturing this fictitious narrative, and entrenching yourself deeper into this web you've spun. The only thing that helps me sleep at night is the faith and knowing that a lie can live forever. The next morning the CCTV footage came out, I believed you, I trusted you, and told you I loved you. You haven't reached out to me since the week of our wedding, and while you claim you have no way of contacting me, my phone number has remained the same, this you know. No texts, no missed called, no outreach from you, just more global interviews you're being paid to do, and say harmful and hurtful things that are untrue, express.co.uk has contacted Kensington Palace for comment.